All right, we'll go <laughs> to another robot adventures uh, video. Come by. This is made by Attack Ada. I don't know if it's affiliated with the toy company, but Attack Ada, can you hunt? Oh, she in it. Mm -mm -mm. Children, don't watch this. Everyone else, check it out or don't. Also brought to you by, by uh, Delicious Doritos. This Robot Adventures video brought to you by... It actually isn't brought to you by, but... Squid Flavored Doritos. And... Grilled Chicken Doritos. Nothing says Doritos like squid and grilled chicken. Mm -mm. So what did I do? What did I do? Not completely finished, but uh, a work in progress. And I just wanted to show you my fuck-ups. So this is my Macross. And I was working on it for a while. and um, Yeah, I just wanted to show you... Uh, Get up close and point out some things that, of course, you should and shouldn't do and some other things. Uh, this is the first go at making this video, so uh, if I restate myself or if I miss some things, I'll probably be annoyed, but oh well. Uh, some background on this figure. I used only sticker decals on this thing. Complete sticker decal, no water slide decals. So, on this, uh, on, on the main Macross figure, you had the option to go with stickers right there or water slide right there. Uh, stickers were pretty good, very easy to put on. However, there are some parts that you know you're like well maybe I should have used a water slide so specifically any curved uh, feature like this piece here and of course the other shoulder piece there and you know all these curves um look at that the head crest thing completely shitty So, yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah. I think a water slide decal, uh, probably, look at, look how much, it's like a fucking butterfly. It's not even attaching to the surface. I had the same problem, uh, with my, uh, Allied Strike Gundam. Uh, which I showed you guys before. So, as far as uh, just uh, sticker-based, I forgot what the technical term for them is, like pressure, pressure decals or something like that. Um, they're not good for curved uh, features. What I ended up doing here, remember, this was my my weak point in my Gundam this this the decal right there on that knee I went ahead and put some cement like some adhesive on there and then reapplied it but uh, yeah so the the ends of stickers seem to peel up so it's kind of hard and you know you're supposed to put a top coat on that but still so, I would suggest going with uh, any curved surface, I would suggest using a, a water slide decal if you had the option. Um, let's look at uh, what else I did. I did. I've only done half of this figure with the top coat of clear. So, what side do you think has a clear top coat? Of 
course, the shiny side right there. So this side is no clear. So I, I just wanted to show the the difference between a clear. I, I did both arms in clear and half of the body in a clear coat. Um, this wing was done in clear also. So I think it's. I think when we spin it, we're gonna get some good uh, light effect on there. You can see that. That's the clear side. And when you get over to the dull side, you have nothing. Shiny, shiny, and dull. So. Clear coat really, you know, makes the thing pop. Look at the arm. It's got a clear coat on the arm. But yeah, you really can see the the difference in that. Of course, this side has a clear and this side doesn't. This is dull and just nice and reflective. This leg, no clear coat and the other leg. Of course, uh, you know, if you're really serious about making your figure pretty cool, you probably want to go ahead and uh, do things properly in the right order. And what I mean by that is, uh, um, I kind of hurried it along and half-assed the, um, the paint job. Uh, half-assed, uh, the, the decaling and stuff like that. Because I'd been doing a bunch of Gundam stuff, so. What happened was, uh, yeah, I got a lot of fuck-ups. And I don't mind, I mean, fuck-ups will teach you where to, you know, what to do and what not to do in the future. Fuck-ups are okay. Uh, you can clearly see here, I'm hoping if I can, the sticker-based, uh, pressure-based stickers don't do very well on these curved surfaces. So, let's take a look at the ghosts, and I have, uh, uh, done a little bit something different with these ghosts. Well, let's start off with this one. And this ghost here, if I can get it to stop shaking, it has no... Oh, great. It's going to make it very difficult to see. There's no uh, panel lines. Nothing done no wash on it and no top coat or base coat this is just the ghost with uh, decals on it only and you can see how right there how uh, they look a little bit light and not really adhered well to the sur to the surface I, I did add some softener as you can see right there you can see it's I really like the softener and stuff is good the center you know this is so so but uh, yeah the softener really but yeah you can see it's not really Set, I'm sure easily I could easily rip that off, but uh, the, yeah, there's no uh, no panel lines or not much done with this one. But that's what you get if you just apply the decals with uh, no paint. Something to consider there. Number two. This guy. I did do the um. 
the wash on it and you can see the panel lines very clearly I did not do uh, a base coat of clear I just applied the seat uh, the decals uh, without a base coat and then I, I, I sprayed a top coat on top of that um, I think it came out well um, however I did lose a couple of decals somewhere I don't know where oh no Where's it? which one did I lose the decal on oh the other one anyway this this piece here and I did apply the clear top coat to it so it does have that kind of a shine and <laughs> finally this one I did today and this one has the clear base coat and uh, clear top coat however I just about did every fuck up thing you could do when I was putting this thing together uh, I was touching I was touching things before they were dry I was uh, applying clear coat and touching touching wet paint uh, I dropped it on my shorts uh, yeah I was trying to move um, like uh, decals I was trying to move them after they were like I left them sitting in the water for too long they got really really fucking wet and soft and then I was trying to manipulate them and they ripped and so just a whole bunch of things that you could probably do wrong is what I did on this one I, I did apply the 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 a clear top coat and that's good because now I can actually touch them a bit not you know I'm sure I could probably rip that up that isn't really set so yeah I mean if you really want to do a a model what I do I like about, and of course you guys know, what I like about uh, the water slide decals is that they are easier to work around uh, curved surfaces, especially with the setter. You can apply it and then put a top coat on top of that, and it, it really seems to wrap around well around a curved surface there, so that's pretty good. Uh, whereas the pressure based just stickers those don't seem so good with the with the um yeah with the curved surfaces as you can see there are lots of air gaps there you know air gap or so the water slide decals, if you got a curved surface, I'm saying go for it. They're probably better, but uh, if you have the option. If not, uh, stickers are pretty good for flat surfaces. Um, these are all, like I said, all stickers. And yeah, it's kind of tricky. Look, look how that, the ends peel up on that. As you can see right there. So, yeah. That's what I know about uh, decals. And, uh, yeah, if you got any suggestions or, you know, constructive criticism, well, let me know. Uh, that's it for my Gundams and my Cross. Everything's finished. They're all done. So, all I'm going to do now is finish painting up this guy you just do the other half in a, a clear coat and then just put them away in a, in a drawer somewhere 
And next uh, review will probably be um, Queen's Blade coming out at the end of this month. And then uh, we got the Revolt Tech and Masterpiece 10. Uh, Alright guys, I'll talk to you guys later. If I post anything else up, well, you know, comment and let me know if it's annoying or something. Talk to you guys later. Uh, bye bye. Come bye. It's Doritos with squid flavoring. It's fucking awesome.